Welcome to Localize. This video will walk you through the process of using XML files in Android Studio to localize your Android apps. If you haven't already, you'll need to set up a project in Localize like I have here. I'm working on a Mac, but the instructions are more or less the same on a Windows computer. I've set up a two-page demo app with a few strings in my Android Studio project. And here we see the app running in the emulator in the source language of English. In order to localize the text in your project, it can't be hard-coded into your design elements. It must be moved to the strings XML file in the res folder and given a resource name. The resource name will be used as the key and the actual text will be the value in the key value pair. I've already done this in the first page of my app. But in the second page, there are some hard-coded strings. Let's fix those. You can either do this in design mode, or you can edit the strings directly in the XML files. Use whatever method you are comfortable with. For this demo, I'm going to click on the warning icon in the component tree. In the message window, click on the fix button. Create a resource name for the string that's unique across all of the text in your app. Then click OK. It's a best practice to use all lowercase letters separated with underscores for your resource name. Do this for all of the text in your app that you want to translate. Next, we'll need to create a strings file for each target language that you will be supporting. Start by right-clicking on the res folder, select New, then Android Resource File. Name your file strings.xml. In the available qualifiers list, click on Locale, then click the double arrows. Find your language in the list and select it. If you need a more specific locale, you can select it from the specific region only list. You'll see that the directory name is automatically filled in for you based on your selected language. Click OK when ready. You'll see that the new strings.xml file has been created and added to the res values strings folder in the IDE. Next, we'll want to get our source language strings into localize so that we can translate all of our phrases. Right click on the strings.xml file that contains your source language strings and select reveal in finder. Return to your project in the localized dashboard. Select the File Import Export option. Select Import. Drag and drop the strings.xml file into the box, then select the Android XML file type. Select your source language. Select Phrases for the import type. Then click Submit. You'll see a success pop-up after the file has been imported. Select Manage Phrases, then click on Pending to see the newly imported phrases. Next, we'll select all phrases in the Pending bin and move them to the Publish bin. This will generate machine language translations of the phrases in your target language. If you want to order human translations for your phrases, you can do that right from the localized dashboard in the Orders page. Or, you can invite translators to your project in Localize. For this demo, I'll be using only machine translations. Select the File Import Export option. Select Export, then select the Android XML file type. Select Publish Translations. Select your target language. Select Phrases for the export type, then click Export. Find the downloaded file and rename it to be strings.xml. Back in Android Studio, right-click on the Values folder and then select Reveal in Finder. Copy the strings.xml file that contains the translations into the Target Language folder, overwriting the existing file. 
To verify, you can select the strings.xml file and you'll see the translations. Now let's see our translations in action. Select your target language from the drop-down and you'll see the translated content in the design view. We'll run our app to see our translations in the emulator. First we'll have to change our target language in the system settings. And here we see our translations running in our app. As content changes in your app in the future, simply repeat the relevant parts of the process above. You can also integrate Localize into your build process by writing scripts that make RESTful HTTP requests using the Localize backend API for the import and export of localization files, and much more. See our extensive documentation at help.localizejs.com slash reference. You may also use our NPN module at localize slash node, a node-based wrapper for Localize's backend API. You can also use the Localize CLI, which uses a simple push-pull paradigm to push content into Localize and then pull out the translations. Read about the CLI at help dot localizejs.com slash docs slash localize dash cli happy localizing and let us know if you need help getting started with this workflow by contacting us at support at localizejs.com <laughs>